Hi, I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. That means that I'm the boss for Westchester County, and uh, I have the responsibility to do a lot of different things, such as run some of the facilities like Playland or the public swimming pools, a host of fun things all across this county. Now, I know you're home from school, and it's a little stressful time, so I wanted to do something that I enjoyed doing with my grandchildren and that I remember enjoyed doing when I was a child, and that is to have a, a book read to me. So I'm going to read a book called How to Train a Train. I was a big fan of trains when I was a little kid. My mom used to take me to the local train station and watch the trains come in and out of the station. Uh, this book covers a lot of different kinds of trains. So I hope after I read it to you, you'll find it in your local library or your school, and you'll read it again so you can see all the pictures in real time. How to train a train. So you want a pet train? Well, of course you do. Trains make awesome pets. They're fun, playful, and extremely useful. Lucky for you, this handy guidebook contains everything you need to know how to choose, track, and train your very own pet train. Ready? Then let's head out and find some trains. Different trains live in different places. Freight trains live in the countryside and travel in herds. Monorail trains live in the city and travel alone. Have you decided which sort of train you'd like? Great. Now you need to catch one. There are lots of ways to catch a train. Some people will corner it. Others might use a big net to trap it. Still others will run the train into the quicksand. True, these methods all work, but I'm going to show you the best way. First, get up really early in the morning and find a good hiding spot close to some trains. Now the hard part. Sit quietly and wait and wait and wait some more. As the sun rises, the trains will begin to stir and start their engines watch them work and play. It's only natural that you want to take home all the trains, but don't just grab the first one you see. Take your time and choose one that's right for you. Got one? Time to make your move. Send a puff of smoke high into the air. Perfect. You've got the train's attention. If you brought any coal with you, now would be the time to offer it. Try saying, my, what a handsome train you are. Next, make the call of the wild train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo. Well done. Here it comes. How will you know if the train you caught is the one? Don't worry. You'll know. Once you get your train home, you'll want to give it a name. Some popular train names are Milo, Morgan, Nathan, Pushkin, Smokey, Pickle Puss, Sir Chugs a Lot, Little Miss Muffinhead, Captain Foo Fama Lou. Of course, you can name your train whatever you want. Don't worry if it seems shy or scared at first. A train needs time to adjust to new surroundings. A warm bath can help a nervous train. And few trains can resist a good read aloud. If your train has trouble falling asleep at night, play soft locomotion sounds. Rocka rocka clickety clack, rocka rocka clickety clack. This is an old conductor's trick that will give your train good dreams. Spend as much time as you can getting to know your train. Does it prefer to go fast or slow? Does it like to fetch? How does it feel about tunnels and bridges? Want to teach your train a few tricks? Easy as pie. Start with a simple trick and then move on to something a bit harder. By now your train should be willing to let you go for a ride, but start out slow Try riding in the caboose at first. 
Trains are very particular about who sits in the engineer's car. Train your train not to leap up on people and always to wipe its wheels before going indoors. Of course, your train can't go everywhere with you. Out on the open road, you're sure to pass other kids with their pet trains, pet planes, trucks, or submarines. This is a chance for both of you to make new friends. Congratulations. You've given your train fuel, water, a good home, and plenty of friendship and fun. Everything it needs to be happy. How will you know if your train is happy? Don't worry. You'll know. How to train your train. The end. We hope you'll take time with your parents, with other family members, to sit and read, to read stories that are interesting to you, and to share them with your friends. Things are all go going to work out well. Enjoy your time together as a family. I'm George Latimer. Have a good day.